with developing international news. Officials in Amsterdam are condemning anti-Semitic attacks that broke out following a soccer match. Authorities say Israeli soccer fans were ambushed and beaten. Five of them had to be hospitalized. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest. Authorities in Amsterdam launching a massive investigation after violent clashes erupted overnight between pro-Palestinian protesters and fans of an Israeli soccer team that was playing in the city. I read in our WhatsApp group to stay at home. Why I should feel afraid in the place that I live here? The Dutch prime minister condemning the attacks as anti-Semitic. It's a terrible anti-Semitic attack uh, and we will not tolerate and we will prosecute the perpetrators and I'm deeply ashamed that it could happen in the Netherlands uh, in 2024. Five fans of Israeli's Maccabi Tel Aviv soccer club were hospitalized and what Amsterdam's mayor described as hit and run attacks. Perpetrators on scooters searching the city for Israeli supporters. Police say it comes after an incident on Wednesday when Maccabi supporters attacked a taxi and set fire to a Palestinian flag. 62 people arrested and authorities now combing through surveillance video to identify anyone else involved. The violence erupting despite the city's ban on protesting, getting the attention of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who had offered to send military rescue planes to Amsterdam to bring those fans home. Statements from the Israeli government say the fans were attacked, quote, with unimaginable cruelty. The mother of one Maccabi fan says her son was ambushed with sticks and firecrackers, which was very scary, she says. They managed to run quickly and escaped upstairs to the hotel. She says they're scared to leave their room. And authorities say all of the victims are out of the hospital, and most of the people who were arrested have been released. The Israeli team is scheduled to play in France next week, a match the interior minister of France said would not be called off. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.